The hip is actually not a bone, and we break bones. The hip is actually a joint that connects your femur bone, your thigh bone, uh, to your pelvic bone. And a fracture at the top of the femur bone that is near the hip joint is what we generally refer to as a hip fracture. You will know you have a hip fracture if you fall and you are unable to walk. General symptoms of hip fracture are pain in the groin. Sometimes patients have some pain in their low back or their buttocks region, uh, but generally they are unable to walk. The final diagnosis of a hip fracture will be made based on x-rays that you have. There are two general types of hip fractures that we see. Uh, one type is called a femoral neck fracture. That's a break basically of the ball, of the ball and socket joint of your hip. The second type of fracture is an intertrochanteric hip fracture. That's a fracture at the top of the femur, just a little bit below where the femoral neck fracture is, and that happens in the top of the femur in the region where your major muscle groups attach. They occur about 50-50. Most of the time when we're talking about hip fractures, uh, they occur in an older population from usually low energy falls. But occasionally the bones can become brittle and weak over time and people can actually break their hip just from minor trauma such as small stumbles and they'll break their hip and that will cause a fall. If a person has a hip fracture, generally surgery is recommended. Without surgery for a hip fracture, the ability to walk is very difficult and almost impossible. And more importantly than that, the ability to care for yourself is impaired. With the hip fracture, rolling back and forth, taking care of normal activities such as getting out of bed, going to the bathroom, showering, are, are almost impossible to do by yourself and even very difficult to do with help. So generally for hip fractures, surgery is recommended because even if you are not planning on doing a lot of walking, in order to help take care of yourself and perform your normal activities of daily living, surgery is recommended to allow that to happen. People can do a lot of things to try to prevent themselves from having hip fractures. That's a very big initiative that we have going on here at Christiana Care as well. So first and foremost, trying to keep yourself healthy and active. We know that weight-bearing exercise and good muscle tone and muscle strength will help prevent falls. Also, a good diet uh, that gets the appropriate amount of calcium and vitamin D can make sure that your bones have the healthy building blocks in order to build bones so that they're not weak and won't necessarily break with normal, everyday, low-energy trauma. The Hip Fracture Program at Christiana Care uh, is a multidisciplinary program. Uh, and that makes us have better outcomes for our patients with hip fractures. Orthopedic team tends to see patients in the emergency department or shortly after admission in order to help prepare that person for surgery as well. After surgery, the physical therapy service will see you and make sure that we get you up and walking as soon as possible. And you will be seen by the Strong Bones program to make sure that we have appropriate follow-up for osteoporosis management and hopefully secondary prevention, making sure you don't have a second hip fracture.